Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Andrew Dorson here from all the way in Texas, and I'm just recording these video vlogs for you guys to follow my journey of acting into Italy, and uh, I'm really excited. So, my first uh, mini movie was, uh, it was, a, it was a historical movie, and I was really excited because I got to play like this historical dude, and that's, that's pretty cool. So, I'll see you there. and I'm here today with Fabio Ferracini, a world-renowned historian, to ask a few questions about the history of Italy. So, Mr. Ferracini, can you tell me a little bit about the beginning of the Roman Empire? Well, the Roman Empire was founded in the 5th century of BCE by Romulus and Remus, and it ended in the 5th century of CE. It was a very, very powerful empire. That's great. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the pioneers of the Renaissance? That's a great question. The Italian Renaissance started in Tuscany in the 14th century, and some of the main figures were Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Monticelli. Wow, you know a lot about Italy. I heard that Italy is always one country. Is that true? It's true. Italy used to be three different states, and it was unified in 1814 by Mazzini and Garibaldi. Thanks so much, Mr. Fettuccini. This is Mary from IBC, and I hope you have a great night. Hey guys, Andrew here again, and I really hope you enjoyed that last video. I put a lot of effort into it. Um, I mean, it was pretty good. Uh, well, my next scene, it was filmed in a church, because I was learning about, like, religion, language, that kind of stuff. I don't know. But, um, I thought it was pretty cool, because... One sec, I got a text. Andrew, I heard that. You know what I said about texting? It's bad for your... Hey, hey, I to you. The major religion of Italy is Catholicism. At 87.8%, no other religion comes close. About 6% of Italian citizens have no religion, and minorities make up the rest. The Catholic Church is centered in Vatican City, a microstate located at the heart of Italy. The dominant language spoken in Italy is Italian. Approximately 50% of citizens speak a regional dialect as their mother tongue. Many of the dialects are mutually intelligible, although dialects spoken in the north are very different from dialects in the far south. Ciao, amico. There are 60,626,442 people living in Italy as of 2011. The population density is 201 people per square kilometer, and most of the people live in the cities, not the mountains. I don't care about the population! I'm gonna keep it all anyways! Be quiet! That's what you get for being stupid! Now I'm gonna take over the world! Uh, hey guys, sorry about my mom there, that was kind of awkward for me. Anyways, um, my next video is going to be an industry video, and we're doing like a puppet show, you know, like the holiday movie. It's going to be pretty cool. And I got a recording from this fangirl, so you want to hear it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're Andrew Dorson, I love you so much, please marry me, I'm your number one fan. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to leave now because I need to watch your industry video for the 932nd time, bye. Wasn't that great? So, uh... Speaking of industry videos, here's mine. Hello, Mr. Min. Why are you here? I've come to invest in the business. I am of Roma heritage, but I was born in America. Which major industries do you recommend? Well, after 1950, factories developed rapidly in Italy. By 2006, factories and manufacturing were 30% of the Italy's economy. That sounds great, but tourism is big in America. How about here? Oh, tourism is very big here also. We have a golden triangle in Italy, from Milan to Turin to Genoa, where tourism is huge. If you want to invest in tourism, you're going to want an Italian citizenship. And to have a citizenship, you need to take a census. No, not the census! But you have to if you want to become a citizen. Well, you know what? I'm not going to take the census. It's just because I'm Roma, isn't it? Yes, we don't tolerate your ethnicity here. We need to count every one of you if the Romas are going to live here. Okay then, I'm not going to live here anymore. I'm leaving! Uh, hey guys, it's getting pretty late over here in Italy, and um, I'm kind of bummed out because that one fangirl I had was my only fangirl. But it's more than other people have, so that's good, right? 
Uh, but since I'm going to be leaving Italy soon because my acting isn't doing too well, I wanted to talk to you about how bad Italy's economy is doing. They are over 2 trillion euros in debt. Like, take a hint from America, guys. Seriously. Uh, and Mario Monti is their first reforming leader in a long time, but he's still not helping the country that much. So, Italy's not looking too good, which is why I'm going to go back to the U.S. because... I mean, uh, that my acting and the economy, I just don't know how well it's looking for Italy. So, thanks guys, thanks for watching, bye bye Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're Andrew Dorson, I love you so much, please marry me, I'm your number one fan. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to leave now because I need to watch your industry video for the 932nd time. Bye.